Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's my beautiful butterfly gala box and it's all free stuff on it. Free paper, free ribbons and free wooden embellishments and I just love it. So celebration, if you haven't got your copy of a uh, or a copy of your catalogues, the celebration and the spring summer, which is this glorious one over here, please let me know and I will pop free copies in the post to you. Um, but celebration is absolutely brilliant. So it's every £45 you spend, you can earn one or more of free goodies inside. So a £90 spend is going to get you two things, £135 is going to get you three things, or you could go into the bigger ones here so this needs a 90 pound spend and this one needs a 90 pound spend and in euros it's 60 euros so 60 euros would get you one item 120 would get you two or one of these at the back um 180 and so on we have the joining offer which i mentioned the other day which has got the amazing bag in it so your 99 pound joining fee will mean that you can get 170 pounds worth of anything you like from the main catalog or the spring summer um, it doesn't include celebration things, but you can get them at a later date. Or you can pay a hundred. You can pay ninety-nine pounds, get a hundred and seventy. Let me try that again. You can pay hundred and twenty-five pounds, get a hundred and seventy pounds worth of stuff and the gorgeous, amazing, awesome bag. So that's uh, ninety-nine pounds for hundred and seventy, or hundred and twenty-five pounds for hundred and seventy and the bag. Or in euros, I'm going to read that because I'd never hold that one in my brain. 129 euros for 230 pounds worth of stuff or 160 euros 230 euros worth of stuff and the bag which is just gorgeous oh, big deep breath in and if you spend over 200 euros or 150 pounds no sorry 200 pounds 275 euros oh it's hard work isn't it you get free goodies free extra spends and you get another 20 pounds 27 euros on top and inside the catalogue there are loads and loads of gorgeous goodies we've got a hello cupcake stamp set we've got ribbons which i'm going to be using today how glorious are they um we've got the butterfly elements i'm going to be using those the botanical butterfly paper i'm going to be using that too by the bay stamp set home to roost We've got the most amazing foil sheets and the Grapefruit Grove one really is holographic, just stunning. And I think by the time this video comes out, you'll have seen my card using the lovely lipstick and so hoppy together. I've used that one as well. We've got part of my story. You know, I love this one. Absolutely adore this stamp set. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Love it, love it, love it. And it's free. Um, lovely lattice stamp set. We've got a precious parcel card kit, which I think is so cute. Um, eight pocket cards with inserts, and I just love it. And it's kind of everything is included. Tea time framelits. So this needs a £90 spend or €120. Euros, and they go with tea together, which is in um, this catalogue here. So they go with this stamp set. That stamp set, those framelits. And this beautiful one, Lasting Lily, which I've shown you before. Um, and I love it because I'm a I just love Carla Lilies. And this needs a £90 spend as well. So today, three minutes, three and a half minutes into the video, I'm going to show you how to make this box. And it only needs half a sheet of the DSP. So you're getting 12 sheets for free and I'm only using half of one. So the one I used before was this one. So you can see that's the other half. And they're all coloured on one side and then black and white on the other. And obviously it's the butterfly theme. The butterflies, some of the sizes will punch out with a but I can't even speak now. The butterfly duet uh, punch, which is brilliant as well. So we've got black and white that side. And we've got this beautiful, just stunning colour. And you can see it goes perfectly with these. And also that means it goes with gingham gala suites. So... 6 by 12 inches, 15 by 30 centimetres, and oh, that's how my scoring tool the right way around. On the long side, score it at 5 and a half and 6 and a half inches, and in metric that's 14 and 16, and on the short side score it at 1 and 5, which is 2 and 13 centimetres, and that's it. It's all you need to do. And I'm going to burnish these up. So the butterflies on 
um, this paper are semi-random in that most of them go in one direction but there will be some that go in another. So if I bring in this page here, most of them are going up that way but you've got the odd one or two that are flying downwards. So when you're looking at it, kind of decide which one you think, just which way round you think will look better. One side may look better than the other. I actually like that because I've got the two colours. I've got the Grapefruit Grove and the Daffodil Delight, whereas here I've mostly only got Grapefruit Grove. But my butterflies are flying in all directions anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so when you hold it this way around, you'll see there's a square here. So we're going to cut straight down the rectangle and into the square a little bit. So that it ends up like that. Oh, let me turn it over so it's not all busy. Oh, there's a, they're all busy sides. There you go, you can see it against my hand. So we've got a little wedge, but that's your wedging into the square, not the rectangle. And repeat on the other side. So you're doing the same. That's all the cutting you need to do. And then you need to turn it round so that the bit closest to you is what's going to be the front. So I want that to be my front, that bit closest to me. So put some adhesive on these bits. I'm just going to put a little bit of snail. And then adhesive on, so that's on the bit that's folded in because that is going to go and tuck and stick into there. And then I'm going to run adhesive down these panels here because that's going to wrap round and stick like that. And I'm going to use my tear and tape. And Fennel has been fast asleep behind my studio all morning and she's just jumped off the desk and down onto the floor and she's having a little cough. And she's had a hiss at Berry. I suspect Berry has just gone and woken her up. As long as they don't appear on the desk again, that was a bit of a shock the other day in the video, Barry appearing right at the end. Okay, so let me find a piercing tool to peel these bits off. So this is good. yeah, oh she's here again. No. <sighs> Extract the cat from the video. Look, go and shout out the window or something at the birds. No, don't head up the tripod. Can't get the backing off. There we go. Oh, very sticky stuff. There goes Barry. She's gone to follow Fennel out the ring. Oh, did you hear the hiss? Dear me. Right, so this part we're going to stick to the inside there. So you're lining up the fold part with the loose edge. You do that on both sides. So that's bringing up the back and as I said this is going to wrap around so what you want to do is line this part up with here and this part with this edge and you kind of need to eyeball in about 15 different places but one side done and the other side should be easier because you don't have to hover it in the air there we go so that's all done so just literally pinch it in a little bit and it will start to hold itself close now what kind of ribbon shall I go for I don't want to use Marmy Blue or Highland Heather because I've used those a lot so oh I think I might go for the Lemon Lime Twist and I've not yet used it so a pair of scissors and open this up. Ooh, throw this around. Right, let's try and get a bow on here. And <laughs> ah, Sam. 
Sam and the Bows. <laughs> I watched this tip that Kirsty Olsop shared. It doesn't work. It really doesn't work. <laughs> Sorry, Kirsty, your tip didn't work. It was about having the lower knot or the lower end um, always at the bottom and the top end always at the top. And it's, yeah, this is me and a bow it isn't going to work. So, but that's okay for me. I'm sure if I manipulate that a bit, look, see, I can make it go like that. Right, and then the final part, we have all of these gorgeous butterflies. And what you have is we've got two sheets of this one, two sheets of this one, and one of the flowers. And this is the one that I put on my first bag. And actually, the inside bit will pop out, but I quite liked it with the big bit. So... But I'm wondering, I might use different shapes this time round. And just be gentle when you're popping them out. And I think I might put a flower on as well. Wooden elements, I don't use them anywhere near enough because they're absolutely beautiful. And I, can, I kind of forget to remember to use them. Um, but yeah, they're so gorgeous. Right, what do I do with my paper piercer? Oh, it rolled away. But they are so pretty. And like I say, I forget to remember to use them. I forget to remember to use them. And I probably need to have them on my desk front and centre, and then I might remember to. So I'm just rolling up my mini glue dot for the flower because obviously there is a hole in the middle of it. And what you can also do with this, you can sponge them, you can colour them. Oh no, that's what I want. Sponge them, colour them, tint them, anything you fancy. But I just think that's a cute project for using up the bits that you get for free. What do you think? Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.